Right. Hello, Twitch. Uh, today I will be trying to up. So I want to create. I need to move my game to a new engine version because four point nineteen, the one it's running in, is completely bugged. Like it, it, it's just it's bugged. It's been bugged for a long time, and I've been trying to add multiplayer to my game. Uh. But to test it, I literally have to package out the game before I test it, because that's just a bug in 4.19. And, you know, it's kind of annoying. So I'm like, well, whatever. But thing is, every time I try, I've tried every single way to create, make my game into a new engine version without doing it by hand, and it just crashes. All I get is crashes, and I'm tired of dealing with crashes. And so I have to literally recreate my entire game, basically, by, basically recreate my entire game by hand. And, uh, which is very aggravating, but I just decided, you know what, what, I'll just make a good thing out of it. I'll stream it, have some fun. Um. There, that's my, okay. I was waiting for the notification on my phone so I can get Twitch up, so I can see what you guys are up to. Because I don't have my second monitor right now. Um, yeah, let's, uh, get to this aggravating an annoying endeavor. Okay, so I already copied over. Come on. Uh, that looks good. Yeah. Come on. Get, thank you. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. I already copied copied over a lot of the meshes for some reason. Some I they won't import some of my weapon meshes. They're bugged. I guess I don't know. Unreal Engine 4.19 probably flipping broke them because it's just a bugged engine version. And yeah, so I'm like, well, I'll get it to Unreal Engine 5, I guess. Um, let's see. Alright, got a content. Create a folder. Uh, blueprints. And I am not a pro at this. So. The blueprints over here. Oh, what do I want to start with first? I don't even know. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Oh, I can always start with UI, I guess. No, actually, well, let's go to levels. Yeah, levels. Yeah. Older. Older. I can't spell, apparently. Levels. Maybe a new level. New. Thankfully, it's already in main menu. Okay. What is this? That's the... Oh, there's a bunch of four blocks. Sounds good. Level meshes. Where's my four block? Nope. Nope. Yes. Huh. Okay, I think it was literally just this. Yeah, grass ball. Okay. I don't have a texture yet. Probably do that. Get a light in there. See what I'm doing. Oh, that's a big block. Interesting. No. Come on. Thank you. Oh, and my wife, I have to use a Wi-Fi adapter, and it likes to disconnect randomly, so at some point during the stream, I will I'll abruptly disconnect and reconnect. I can't do anything about it. It's just this garbage Wi-Fi adapter. I really can't do anything about it. Uh, let's see. Ooh, then I need my tall wall. Oh, come on.
2 game, I do have a better building system than, or building pieces, I guess, than these, but this is what my game uses, or this game uses. Uh, let's see, I do need to do that. A player starting number. There we go. Go see Paul. Hmm. Now, uh, let's see. Back up. The uh, content. That's over. Come on. Okay, I see. What? Why? Oh, okay. There it goes. Um... Let's see. Oh boy. Uh, user interface blueprint or widget. Good lord. User widget, yes. Come on. Don't do that. Oh yeah, fonts. I need to get my fonts. How those even hold? Okay, create a new folder. Let's see if, uh, let's see what's going on. My great, please don't flip and crash. The game, I really don't want it to crash. Fonts, select folder. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm gonna get to do that this way. There we go. Okay. That's how you do it. I have to be careful of that because it likes to crash every time I flip and migrate something over. Now, back to the menu. For some reason, on Unreal 5, you have to manually add the canvas. I don't know why. Kind of annoying. Oh, that was, that's, that's an image I imported. Duh. So, no. Um... Let's see. Images. Widget and what's that?
Um. Oh, they're separate ones. Okay. Can I just take all of these by set? No. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll do it this way. Okay. Great. Here. Go to. Nice. I really hope it didn't add anything else. That's the only thing. Oh, it doesn't seem like it did. Nice. Go to what? Asset. Actions. Migrate. Okay. Boom. Alright. Is it going to crash? No, it's not crashing. Nice. There it is. Migrate. There we go. All right. Set. Migrate. Okay. Cool. Even if I just do a little at a time, it'll fucking crash on me. That's just what I'm really worried about, because I've had a lot of issues with that. It's older. Eventually, I'll get there. I put two different pictures. I did. Cool. There we go. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Main menu. How do I change the image? That's how it works. How big is it? Oh, 500 by 140. Okay. 141. Yeah. I'll keep it consistent.
tactics. There we go. A vertical box. That's how you spell vertical. There we go. Vertical box. It doesn't have to be sad, but it's still not good. It's good though. Hundred by, uh, and I'll make it six fifty. Six fifty sounds good. Okay. Can I copy you? Let's see. Please don't. Please don't crash. Good. Um. All right. I don't really like that. See, it's not creating the same effect as over here. Ah, uh, that one. Oh, how did I do that? Uh, just how different engine versions work, I guess. Okay, here we go. A spacer. Uh... Hmm. Why aren't you lining up right? What on earth? Oh, there it is. Not sure as to why it looks like this. Like, why are there spaces? I don't understand why there's spaces. Okay. Interesting. Oh, why why does it why is there a box? Oh. There we go. Let's see.
Uh, still not sure what's going on here. I'm not sure why it really looks like this. Oh boy. We're all the really? Oh, these are draws box. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Alright, so delete, delete, delete. What about you? Ruby, draws image. Oh boy. Image. Draws image. No, it's fine. I don't know why they're so separated. 20. Hmm, that's why. Okay. Uh, you're just a text, so I'm gonna get text. Don't do that actually. Copy Control C, Control V. No, not like this. I know the capitals don't here, but I still have to do it in there. What is this? Here's an image. Come here. I don't even know if I want that, but whatever. For now, it works.
Mm. Oh, duh. And the right thing here. Uh, there we go. And go ahead and set functionality with that. Use unpressed. That's what I always use. Yeah, is that in the center? It's right there. No. Oh, get command line. How do I do? No. Isn't it just command line? Oh, that's not wrong. Execute, that's what it was. I'm in. Ugh. Oh, now I'm invited to play the game. And I just started. I knew that would happen. Um, alright, get out of this before it crashes. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. All right. Oh, I got that going. And then, uh, how does this even? How do we even have it programmed? I'm not even sure. I don't remember. Settings? No. Blueprints. I get it oh, right there. I don't think I'm using the. Oh, I am. Game. Ah, oh, I do need to make a game info instance. Okay, I will do that. I believe I put it under blueprints. I did. Okay. Content ingredients. Uh. Oh, what up? Hello? Hello? Streaming?
Sorry about that. Okay, save data. Blueprint. What is it? How do I get to that menu? That's how, okay. Then I want to do room instance. Okay, select A B. Okay. Ugh. And sometimes I can type and sometimes I can't. Game info instance. Open please. Thank you. Over here, save data, go to the game info instance. Not a lot going on. What's this? Check save data. Okay, now let's do that. Save game. Okay, the center. I don't know, I always like to line up the first thing to center. Alright, compile, save, go back to the uh, blueprint. There it is. Level blueprint. I need a little open bubble. Get out of here. Level blueprint, go to. Game info instance, make a fear cast. Get game instance. A save game check. Here. Oh, that's how I show the main menu. Okay. Let's save game mix. This is lost. Okay. Not the greatest save. Save player. All my game saves. Alright. So the way I did it, because originally it was a split screen. So that way you'd have separate saves. Don't even do that. You know what? No, because the way I had it, I was thinking like an old game, you know, like an old Flash, because it's based off old Flash games. And then I had different, uh, say, like uh, save slots, basically, profiles, whatever. And then they have their own weapon and experience. But honestly, I think it's just, I think it's just running off the one. Um, base game save data, which is... what these are all based off of, but not... So yeah, base game. Oh no, this is something else. Okay, so I'll, okay, base game save data. Oopsie, heal. Come on, thank you. Base save data. Save game. Select the base game. Save. Maybe a new, another one. I guess I could have just copy and paste, but whatever. Save game, select. This will be player game. Oh well, actually, if I I should probably keep the same name so no one loses their data. So I will rename it to. Player one underscore game save. Well, that way, okay. So that way, when it updates, nobody loses loses their save. You know, it doesn't make it. So I'm not going to use the other ones anymore. Okay. Okay. Then under save game check, go to game info instance. Uh, do does save game exist? Does Oops. 
breakfast. Load up the variable. Player save. Player save. I'm like, this would make saving weird if this here the same one, but I, I could do saves all of it or just saves. That'd be fine. Okay, this is fine. Branch. Not that fun having little windows, but oh well. I know my other screen. Load game. Oh, this was before I used my new system. That's fine. Go to the end. Create and save file. Why do I need this variable? Hmm, that's interesting. Create a new variable. Created. File. Set. Um, see player one game save cast okay oops do a cast to player one game save make it a pure cast one less thing to do uh yeah, I want to can I I can't promote okay and you're just a you're just save game Okay. Called. Hold on. What? Come over. Come over. Game. Play your own game. Save. Well, that's interesting. Player one game save. Oh, I see. Okay, that's why. Well, that was it. Uh, you. Oh, string. That's string. There we go. Uh, go to here. He will be a player game save. A save game object. There we go. Do a get. Get a get. Get a get. Get a get. Get a get. And set a set. Get again, set a set. No. There we go. And... Yeah. There we go. Oh, blood decal time. Okay, I do need that. Let's do blood decal time. Why is that being set here? Hmm. I'm sure that's a good reason why. So, I think it's so it was like set and not something weird. I think that's like it was. I think it was ended up being weird. If I didn't do this, it was weird. So go to play one game save. Play a fun game save. Create variable. Why? Wait, what? Why is? Okay. Blood. Be a float. Why is that being said in there? Hold on. Player one game save. That's all my volumes. 
which I'm using. Huh. Am I even using this? I want to find references. Huh. Oh boy. That opened main menu. Uh, okay. Close main. I just close you for now. Don't need you open. Don't need you open. Um, options. Okay, this is a player game save. Find references. Uh. Okay, good. So I'm not using that. I might be only be using this one. No references. What? But oh, this is from Game Save. Oh. Hold on, is this... Hold on. Base game, let's play one game, see. Um... Why... Usually it's supposed to tell me what the parent is. Is base game saved out of... Hmm. That is weird. Uh, interesting. So I'm not going to worry about the blood decal time yet, because that needs to be under the other save. Uh, let's see. Huh. Interesting. What is whatever? It's this. Let me delete that actually. Nope. D delete it. I don't need it. Compile. Cool. Don't need that yet. Close you. Okay, so I'm not going to set that yet. Because so i got to figure that one out. Okay. I'll keep that there for now. And then show main menu. Right under it. Okay. It is kind of nice to go through and um, fix the weird stuff and then get rid of all the variables I'm not actually using. Uh, widget, main menu UI, and then keep us consistent flip and naming system. Um, uh, 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 variable. You will be. Uh, there we go. There we go. Do it. Get a get. Is a valid? A question mark. I didn't tell you to move, so don't move. That. If it's not. Come on. Give me the pen. Thank you. There. Okay, load main menu, then add to viewport. Port. Uh, 
Um, minerals. Or so cool. Okay, be annoying then. That show mouse cursor, thank you. True. There we go, can you play? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Get money. What was that one? My, my thing's in the way. I couldn't see what it was. Yeah. You can go there. Perfect. You can go there. It is about, okay, then again. I do need to make the other variable or the other thing event that is. Or so. Will. Reload the main menu. Oh, and the main menu widget. There it goes. Reload main menu. Okay, that's right. That's right, main menu. Graph, custom event, load, dot hole, tile, even load main menu. That, so yeah, because when you go back to the main menu, you gotta, you want to reload it. Oh, there she blows. Cool. Now I can finish this one. Show main menu. Show main menu. Uh, and I should not, uh, create, save. Same object. Play one game save. Pick you up a little bit. Right there. How about that? Okay. Right. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Now the main. If I hit, well, actually, go to project settings first. Project settings. Go to apps and modes. There you are. Editor. Uh, maybe. Perfect. Uh, save all. Now, it should show the menu. Oh, because I don't have a controller. Yeah, I'll just it out. Save game check. Access none. Hmm. I'm in phone instance. Game. Oh, that's why. Settings. Uh, maps and modes. You game info instance. Save. Save all. World settings. Mode right now. I don't have a... Okay, there we go. I don't even have a character yet, but that's fine. Nice. None of these two? Oh, quick clicks. That's only one of the function. Oh, that's pretty good. Um. Nice. Okay, I'm getting there. Uh, and this way, it kind of helps me get rid of a bunch of variables and stuff I'm not even using. I close the end. 
on this one. Oh, Steam name. I see. Okay, I have to activate Steam to do all that. Does say the game exist. Okay, so let me go to the main menu. That's fine. We go here. We go to, let's see. Event. Construct. Actually, you can move me down here. You in the center. Save the file. Edit. No. How do I get to plugins? Plugins. Okay. How do I? No. How do I view all plugins? Plugins right there. Steam. That's cool because I didn't know that physically based sound right That's cool. Uh, that. You must re. Oh, that's fine. Not VR. I would love to add VR. Maybe I'll do that later. Maybe I'll do that. And then I need something to get online. Online base, online services. Subsystems already on. I checked Steam. I think that's all I need for that. I'm gonna restart. Uh, save stuff. Hopefully, it won't take too long. Just so I can get to go ahead and get that programming in there, so to add it in, I don't have to, so I don't have to add it in later. Got right your plugins. Um. Okay, thank you. Open. Good water. Go cool. event construct. Let's see. Player control. Yes. That's not right. I can't see what that says. <laughs> Get player name. Um, no, no, that's not right. Ha, huh. I probably missed something, that's fine. Um, Steam name text. Did I not rename that? I thought I did. Oh, I guess I did it. Okay, go back to the graph. No, oh, whatever. It is variable. Set text. Well, you're just a pain in the butt. Set text text. Oh, what the? Set text text. Thank you. Bottle. 
There we go. Um, in text, let me put player. It's uh, secret player name. Display name? No. Uh -huh. You know what? That's fine. I'll fix it later. For now, it's Bob. For now, it's Bob. Actually, let's see. Get Steam. Ah, I didn't name. I didn't. I there's more. I need to enable plugins. Steam. Um. Oh, that's right. I have to download something. Okay, you know what? I won't even worry about that. You know what? I'll, do? I'll just do uh, do get do I need to add, add Steam. Cool. Uh, ignore this for now. And then do does save game. Is. That's not right. Does save game exist? In which this butthole to go here. Base games. Oh, let's see. Base games data. Base game save data. Base game save data. Yes. Yeah. Let's see. Load. Game from spot. Load variable. You be a space game. Text. Get over here. Go over here. Go over here. Oh. It's always interesting too going over your older code, which happened quite a bit while updating my game. But I wonder, I'm, I'm sure there's code somewhere that, well, I know there's code somewhere that I programmed such a long time ago, and I'm just gonna be like, what on how, why did I do it like this? Then, uh, pass to base game. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, base game. Yeah, base game save that. So, let's see. File, base game save data. Past to base. Game. Did I not create it? Base game save data. Hmm. Class to base game. What the? F what? Base game. Base. The flip. I don't know. I really seem to go back to here. Don't you, you're playing one game soon. Player, player. Player one game save. Player one game save. There we go. Better remember that. That would have been annoying later. Oh. 
They found compounds says something like that. Ah. this we save all of what is going on. Cast to base game. The flip. Okay. Uh, you say false. Do create save. Create save game object will be base game save data. Thank you. I don't know, I like to do it this way. Do these branches this way, the it's this way, I don't know why. Just how I like to do it. Be there. Variable. I don't want to uh you were it's game data. Save game the slot. You are this game save data. Cool. Um, okay, then I can cast a Cast it be an instance. What is this? Wait, what were there two? It game widget get what? No, we have get game instance. Dear lord. Okay, it's a variable. Game in O underscore rack. There. Oh, okay. And then that just loops back this way, but I need to as to base game save data. Cast to base game. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my lord. Uh, this right. We you can go into there. This out the do donkey. Planning textories. Oh, I'm not gonna even. No, I'm not gonna do the profiles. I'm not gonna worry about that. So this can be looped back into game info instance. Boom. Nice. This will be. Uh, check. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, get base game save data. Fire she blows. Six. 
open up base game save data. Come on. The flip is this. Thank you. Variable called. Decal. Will be a float. Um. Game info instance ref. Create a variable called. Give you a float. Go to game info instance, blood geek settings. Options. Why are there options and settings? Oh, I see. I see. I see. Look. Come D. That's what I figured. That's what I thought it was. Uh, you do 20. Oh, go to my menu. Base game save data. Default 20. Keep it consistent. And also, that's what later. That's what I'm going to use. If I don't set it now, uh, set blood. That's where I'm pulling it from, so otherwise you need the other option. Uh, it blood detail time. Uh, go to my menu and then set set multi variable. I'm not sure why I need it here, but I'm sure there's a reason. If not, I can delete it. All right. Man, where did this all come from? Base. Okay, so we did base game save data. Volume. Master. Volume. Here. Voice. Volume. Enemy. Voice. Volume. Weapons. Now, if I go to base game save data, volume master apparently is 0 0.9. For some reason. Here are voice, come 7. I really just want to finish. I gotta. I was told my cousins I would hop on the game with them, so I just want to finish up this last little segment here. Tower defense spawn limit. Normal spawn limit. Okay. Int. I am an int. Do normal. Which really they could be. Well, yeah, they probably should be. So 300, 150.
it. Hero voice. Get volume. Nice. Yeah. Get volume. Weapons. You don't need weapons. You need the vacuation. And then. I love like going in and for instance. Ah. You read it. Base game save, no, the main menu. I do a little bit. Set tower. Yep. Come on. Thank you. That normal spawn limit. Very boy, you will be. Oh, actually, let me change it. Let's... You will be our defense. Oh. Perfect. And then next over here, there's a lot actually. That's controls. Huh? Oh, okay, I see what that is. Uh, oh, yeah. What? Where is this? Oh, that's being set over there. Well, whatever. Found it. Um. Create game save, yeah. Save game. What? Uh oh, I did it backwards. Little game. Because I played it different ways. There we go. And then. Come on. Thank you. Create.
been saved game to slot. Perfect. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, yeah. Well, I was gonna do more, but now I'm getting dragged into something else. You know, I think it's a good start. Already got that going. None of these work. Obviously, but well, thanks for watching. I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna put these on YouTube and Rumble. Yeah. But yeah, uh, check out my game, Defend Your Butchers on Steam. Um, obviously I'm still updating it. Hope I put it in the new engine by hand because it's retarded. But anyway, engine version that's in is retarded and is crashes the game doesn't crash the engine crashes like when i'm editing it when i'm trying to transfer to a new engine that's when it crashes not the actual game but if your game does crash let me know but anyways thanks for watching i plan on continuing this and uh yeah god bless bye bye